They were saying to me, you refuted us 25 years ago and you wrote, that you put a false name on the book. You are a liar. But you know they are allowing, tricking Allah. Look what they said. His fatwa in his book, Bughi Muttalib. He said, Alcohol is haram. But if you need it desperately for a for important reason, mm -hmm, then you can go to the pharmacy and say to the, to the chemist, to the, to the pharmacist, <coughs> I want to buy from you this bottle, not the alcohol contained in it. For I'm giving you the money for the bottle. Then Habashi said, by this trick you can avoid falling in haram. But trick against who? Against the chemist or against Allah? Now that someone told me that one Habashi, he wanted to implement this trick of his shaykh, his fatwa. And he went to the pharmacy, but the one who was working in the pharmacy, he was also Habashi. <laughs> so he said to me, he said to him, I want to buy the bottle, not the alcohol inside it. Then this Habashi chemist, he emptied the bottle and he gave it from the alcohol. He said, this is the bottle empty, I made a favor for you. He said, no, oh, what? give me, forget it. <laughs> and then a true story happened. You know, they say, for example, lease is not allowed. Haram, lease, you know the lease. But, uh, but you know, we can, we can do something. Now, you can say to the owner, to the landlord, uh, I don't take lease, uh, but I want to sell you this bottle of water for 40,000 pounds. Excuse me? We know that this costs one pound. So how, how, how can you say that you want to sell it for 40,000? They say, this is an Islamic trip. Oh yeah, just like calling the river mortgage, maybe. One of those people, one of those people, he made a deal, he, he sells watches. And uh, one guy came to him and he said, to him, I want to buy those watches. He said, okay. How much? He said, five watches will be costing you $180. said, okay, I'll buy them. While he, they made the deal and the man wanted to give him the $180, he heard the other, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Then this habit, she said, stop. Let's stop the deal. He said, why? He said, because any deal that happens, that is made after the adhan of dhuhr, makes it haram, makes that deal haram. The man said to him, we made the deal already, but I was about to give you the money only. He said, but it's haram. So the man said to him, don't you find any way something to be done, you know? He said, well, let me think. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do something. He said, what? He said, I can say to you, I'm going to gift you those watches. And then you say to me, I will gift you the money. <laughs> he said, no problem, all right. Okay, no problem. I'll give you, uh, you gift me those watches and I give you the money. But this brother gave him 100 instead of 100, 180. The next day, those two met together, and this habit, she said to him, Oh my God, you've done something wrong to me. You made a mistake. He said, What? He said, You did not give me 180, you gave me only 100. He said, Yes, but well, I remember you said I gave you as a gift. <laughs> are you. Are you are you putting conditions on me what, what kind of gift I should be giving you? It's a gift. You gave me a gift and I gave you a gift. <laughs> Those people are tricking Allah. 